the Princess of Wales Theatre has been home to major productions from Miss Saigon to War Horse. But soon this Toronto landmark will be nothing more than a theatrical memory, replaced instead with this. We think we have a place where Canadians can stand as proud as anyone. At a news conference at the AGO, David Mervish released the conceptual designs of what will be a new cultural hub. The focal point, three soaring condo high rises, towering up to 85 stories above the city. I don't think I'm building condominiums. I'm building an opportunity to live in a, the equivalent of Gaudi if you'd lived 100 years ago. It will all fit in this section of King Street between John and Duncan north to Pearl Street, featuring two six-story podiums and a white crinkled structure wrapped around what will be a new 60,000 square foot art gallery and classroom space for OCAD University. And we're working with a wonderful world-class architect who has an idea and a vision. It may seem like it's an acquired taste. In fact, some critics say these little white pieces look like crumpled pieces of garbage. But architect Frank Gehry says he welcomes the criticism. Gehry is an internationally renowned architect locally known for his redesign of the Art Gallery of Ontario back in 2008. You go to every city in the world and it's like the same building. They're pretty banal. But the Princess of Wales Theatre won't be the only thing gone. Shocking. Workers actually, here we were surprised to hear these restaurants and office space will also be torn down. There will be a robust and a strong conversation with the residents, the businesses and the city about the future of this development site. But while some may be sad to see this theatre go... Should leave this the way it is. It's kind of a landmark here. For Mervish, it's about lowering the curtain on the past and creating a new future for King Street West. Cities grow or they shrink, and we aren't shrinking, and we're not shrinking from the world. Now, the Princess of Wales Theatre and its neighbouring businesses will be demolished in phases over the next seven years, but Canada's Walk of Fame will remain here on this stretch of King Street. Still, David Mervish maintains he's not turning his back on Toronto's theatre. In fact, he says most of his theatres are not operating at full capacity, so deciding to demolish the Princess of Wales Theatre was not a difficult decision. Live on King Street, Leslie, I'll send it back to you. All right, Marianne, thanks very much.